Uh, I'm Carol Wilkinson, and I am a developmental pediatrician uh, and neuroscientist here at Boston Children's. Um, and we are currently running a study in kids with Fragile X that's funded by Fraxa, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about it today. Kids come in for our study, um, uh, and usually actually we do a phone call ahead of time so I can talk to their parent and learn a lot about them what um, they're motivated by, whether that's goldfish or music or a TV show, um, and also learn more about how, um, how they let you let us know if they're uncomfortable. Um, and when they come in, we have two parts. One part is an assessment with um, uh, that looks at their language skills and looks at their um, problem-solving skills. Um, and actually, we write up a little report afterwards and send that to families so that they have a sense of where their child is with their language development and cognitive development. And then after that, we do the EEG. I think a lot of parents maybe are a little bit um, uh, anxious about what it means to get an EEG. An EEG in our study is not the same as what you get when you're looking for a seizure. What we have is something called a little EEG cap and I show this actually to the families um, and to the kids. We practice putting it on the teddy bear um, and it's really sort of more of a um, soft um, kind of like a shower cap or a winter knit cap that's really stretchy and flexible. Um, and we put this on the kids um, uh, head. It's a little bit wet when we put it on. We put it on actually really quickly, and then we try to distract the kid. We blow bubbles, we show their favorite TV show, we spin lights, do whatever we know that we've talked about. And a lot of the times the kids forget that it's there completely, um, and they sit um, and watch um, usually a silent video while we play different sounds um, and are totally comfortable the whole time. It's really, I think, um, a big, big accomplishment for some families where they didn't think that their child was going to be able to do it, and they actually are phenomenal. For me, one of the big challenges is that we really don't um, have a great understanding of some of the brain differences children have in Fragile X. There aren't a lot of studies measuring um, brain activity in children with Fragile X, and fewer studies that look at how those differences relate to some of the challenges that kids have. As a developmental pediatrician, I um, work with a lot of families with various neurodevelopmental disorders who have um, a range of challenges, language difficulties, problems with learning, trouble sleeping, hyperactivity. Every child is unique. Every child has differences, um, different challenges, um, but we don't understand what those differences in brain measures mean as far as all of those lists of challenges. And so that's the goal of this study. Support from Fraxa has meant a huge um, deal to me as an early investigator. It means that um, I can study um, uh, children in fragile, with Fragile X, um, get data that's going to lead to not only um, new um, research findings and, and push um, clinical trials, but it also means that I can um, establish funding um, in other areas and have greater, larger research studies and really make a, a full career out of um, working with kids with Fragile X um, and really making a big difference.